I feel like I spelled the word win is wrong somehow. Hey, Jordy. I'm trying to track a lot of commentary for us, but now it's just me. Oh, Rob Ken seems like a bit of a grimmer matchup. But, oh no, because Ken gets in, he gets a lot of damage, but Rob can keep him out, and he's got the side D to catch the focus off stage. And on oh, FD, he's a little grim as well. He kind of gets thrown at. On his shield pressure. I didn't even think about that. Ken doesn't have the best out of shield. Oh, but he's now going to get at least 60%. We're looking at 77. Two in the combo. Got the scissor kick, though. Or the axe kick, sadly. But that's a good end, though. And all of a sudden, just like that, Heaven has taken a 40% lead. And he's taking a stock lead now. And we welcome another commentator on. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's me, Strawberry. And, and immediately, fine, back. Like, because... Yeah, then if he tries to focus, oh, like, so he's I just dead. I do not think just Heaven is playing this. Oh, I didn't update the characters, my bad, I forgot no, about that. that's fine, that's fine. I, I wish Ghost was playing Kirby, he's Kirby short. The Ghost Kirby would have went hard, I'm going to be honest. Oh, yes. Really, Peter just needs to find those openings to get that big damage, otherwise he just kind of gets bashed on. What is Rob Why isn't is there a Rob one? Just type this right Rob out and save it, it'll go yeah. down. Good. Ooh. See, it's happened twice now, and now because he can't focus or anything, because he's gonna get side B and die. Ooh. Oh no, Rob! I really thought Ghost would have got it. Yeah, but I was expecting it down here. Yeah. But he takes a stock anyway. Heaven really needs to get in. He needs another one of those like big focuses somehow, but like, don't want to fish for it. Ghost Ganon when Surely we can peer pressure into my Ganon. Oh. Given enough money, we'll go around one. Yeah. I mean, you don't. You're just paying out more than first place for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Peter, Peter is a very patient player, but Ghost is just kind of overwhelming him with the buttons. But he's now got Ghost off stage. He's reversed it. Yep. But Rob is a bit of racist and just ignores it all completely. He's now back on stage. Ten shield pressure. That is cool. I really thought we were going to see a um, yeah, roundhouse. Yeah. I think he wanted a roundhouse there, but no, we got the up smash. He's dead. That's a fast up smash. It's pretty decent, right? I mean, obviously he catches the focus and now he's in disadvantage. 70% isn't much for Ken to make up. We got the shield pressure. The shield's down. He's at 20. Yeah. Ken can just get strings and yep. do so much damage. Like that's 20 just off a safe down. That's just how this character is. He's looking for the down smash. Only that 20% of the sum. Well, so it's really hard to kind of find your opening when Rob has a better down to it than you do. Yeah, Rob is just such a bull's character. And now he dies to side B. Dead here. Oh, oh, he lives. Nah, I've got but catches the, the roll. Both times, I believe, like Peter rolled from ledge when, like, go when he still fought Ghosts off stage. I think I saw that. Oh yeah. A lot of players do that. I do that often. Dexter, how'd it go? You? And now, uh. uh, yeah, uh. Stop the Leaning all the way there. Well, I'm actually going to hop off comms and prepare myself for my next match. I'm oh, you're going to set, man? I oh, see yep. you. My bad. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm see you, Chief. Yeah, see you. Good luck. Back to me again. I am. I'm really surprised Heaven would have wanted to go to FD. I would have expected he wanted. I would have thought wanting platforms to get around some of these projectiles. But he did get him to last stock, so he definitely knows more than I do. Those big strings. I was expecting, like, a light F tilt back air and something, but. He goes for more and doesn't get an extra of it. Well, <laughs> if you weren't broke. Peter loves going for the light F tilt down to down it. It is nice when it connects, but it hasn't been working out thus far. And I'm getting jab locked, he's been F smashed, he's off stage. And there's 
Ghost does nothing but ledge traps him, and now he finds his way back in with a lucky Tatsu. Ghost just continues to pressure him. That was a good focus. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, that's grim. Almost having a shuriken. We get it now, but he doesn't die. Ghost the knows how to die now. Okay, we get the round now, so let's go. Like commentary, guys. Right, settle. Now, um, this is a very even game at the moment. Both cats can still do big damage. Yeah, I was wrong. Peter was right taking the FD. Seems like it's going very well now. He's adapted a bit. He's slowed down. He's not trying to force as, as many openings as he was before. At least that's what it looks like. I almost got an extension there. I like that focus to sort of move around whatever Ghost wanted. Oh, we got the weak down there. He went for the money. He is so good at landing those, but this time it didn't work out. And miss inputting a roundhouse, I imagine? Rip. Now he's forced yet. Yeah, just get side beat. But Ghost dies, he's too low down. It's a, an even game. Imagine he's wanting that opening to get some of that safe. Big damage. Can he just eat? And now we're looking at. Once again, a sour down there. Ghost knows how to DIDs. He knows what he's doing. Get a roundhouse. Just kind of throwing out Hadoos and trying to keep Ghost at ledge, which is the idea. Because if Ghost gets back on, he can easily make up his damage. And we get the shield poke, but it doesn't kill. Just doing that ledge. Ghost makes it back on stage, and now he's with a fully charged later. He can do a couple things here. And he whiffs the combo, and we get that's a game for Peter. I knew I'd win. Let's go, Peter. I wonder what Ghost counterpick here is. I don't imagine he's going back to FT again. I'm gonna guess he's gonna take it somewhere with platforms, maybe, maybe like PS2, some. Ah, uh, not PS2. Light. Oh no, that makes sense. Ken can kill Kaina early on Lilac, but at the same time, Rob likes that a lot more than Ken does. And Rob also like benefit from it being closed in, allowing him to cover more space and zone, and sort of just box around. So that makes sense. Down throw, um, roundhouse. I didn't know that was a thing. That's interesting. Finding the the proxy till into damage. Maybe I was, I was wrong. Looks like he is doing a very good job of navigating Lilac, not really getting stuck on platforms or like sort of tunneled in, if you will, as I thought was going to happen. But it's still early game. I hate it when you get hit by that like 0.1% from the stupid gyro. And he just dies up the out of shoot. Yeah, that's correct. Go flying an up air. He's now at ledge. This is the scary part being at Lila. And he just dies because he gets blocked by gyro. It happens. Yeah. Both of these players are very good at keeping each other at ledge, it seems. Getting that damage. Oh, he was trying to catch that air dodge or roll. But he just lands on the platform. Oh, 
trading. Now we're getting shoot pressure. He had us. I don't imagine he wanted that. I was expecting a roundhouse. Yeah, that's what he wants. A heavy roundhouse. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Lilac also makes it easier for Rob the shark off the ledge if you need to get up. Get off it. Not just dying just yet. Yeah, that sharking seems to be a decent thing here. Because Ken can't just focus that. That was good. Looks like that might be a little bit of bad DI on uh, Ghost's half, but he also is out of hypes and he might have just. I think he just died there, yeah. Now Peter's just continuing to get that safe damage. Every like opening, he's getting at least 20, looking at like 30 per interaction. It's like. That's what Ken does. There's no way he dies here. Ghost almost having a bit of some interesting DI, but living. You know, wanted the kill of the roundhouse, but we don't see it yet. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. So he's trying to shark, but Peter's wised up to it now. And he's looking, he wanted a roundhouse. He gets the Hadou by accident. This is the second time it's happened. And now we're looking at Ghost with a gyro in hand. He Is that a. Yeah, he, he's looking for something, but he doesn't get it. Once again, I don't imagine he wanted a. Uh, a uh, Tatsu, but that's what we get. He's with the... Oh no. That could have been Grim there whiffing the up there. But he hasn't died for it. That's good. Once again, not able to confirm into a roundhouse. And he gets the show you can roll. And that's another game for Peter. It got a bit messy towards the end, but he got it. And that's all that matters. Oh, I need to press the save up. I wonder what um, Ghost Counterfeit here is, because the Lilac clearly didn't work out. He couldn't tunnel him, he couldn't re really box him around. He goes back to Lilac. I mean, that makes sense. Where else are you really going to take him? Ken kind of does decently on most stages here. Actually, I wouldn't imagine. Oh, no. No, Peter's definitely banning town, not letting like, not like town open for <laughs> Rob. The Hadou trip, I love that. I feel like Ghost is playing this a little more defensively than last. The Tatsun shoot working out, whether it's intentional mix up or not, that was nice. I really thought the gyro was going to like block him from grabbing ledge again, but luckily that doesn't happen. Your neutral slowed down a bit. But it seems like the neutral slow, but it seems a lot faster than it is. Because when they, when they hard to play gets an opening, I just get like bigger damage. The illusion of rush now. This time Ghost is finding the early lead opposed to last game. And he's looking to extend it. That's a nice catch on the neutral deck. Looking to get a bit more damage for his troubles. Yep. And he does it again. He catches another sort of air dodge. His uh, ghost chasing is just insane. You can really catch almost all your options. He kind of knows what you want the one for. Give him a game and he just knows. Ghost does not want to lose here. He wants to go into Grand Finals on Winner's side. Not bad, should not kill him just yet. Ghost is it right this time. And... Peter doesn't die. I thought he was going to get the... Get the finer back air. This game could be even in a couple of interactions with Ken, but at the same time, he has the finer interaction through Ghost's wall projectiles and forward airs and down tilts. So I'm curious to see if he's able to get it, because if he does, Ken with Rage can be very scary. 
but also it makes some of his combos not connect anymore, it makes him more SDIable. Nanea almost keen. He is not able to find any direction. Every like small move is falling off so far away now. And he's not able to confirm. You know, just like opting for hard run outs. Ooh. Mixing up Ghost Shield with the Tatsus. Ghost not grabbing and catching a broke. Oh, he tried. I hate it when Chara just pushes you towards the ledge. I hate that. And yeah, the Nair finds a kill. Like, Peter could find like a kill here very soon and even it back up, but Ghost isn't gonna let that happen. He wants the he wants the more damage. He wants to, you know, keep applying pressure safely. Like he always does. Yeah, he could have, but sadly not. Now just getting juggled by Rob. It's a grim place to be. Ah, uh, David Randhouse not properly connecting. That's all multi hit toys do. I'll be out of shield. Not catching Ghost with some bad DI. He goes down. I thought he was going to get side B and die for it, but he doesn't. Once again, missing a confirm. But he finds a raw show. He's dead. Peter has a bit of rage. He can make this back. Definitely. It's just the matter of getting around Rob. Getting around Ghost. Because you cannot force yourself in here. If you, for if you try to force your way in, you you're just going to die. And he knows that. I know he knows that. It's just a matter of how he goes. But even then, he isn't, he isn't too worried. He still has another game to work with here. But he probably wants to steal this out. And that was nice. Catch neutral tech. And that's the game for Mr. Mr. Ghost. Mr. Ghost. The bone, Mr. Ghost Bone. I wonder what Peter's counter pick is going to be. If he, I imagine if Ghost leaves FD open, they're going back there. But uh, we'll see. And Ghost does leave FD open, and we're going back there again. That makes sense. Peter did win kind of dominantly on that one F. Wait, I'm not thinking wrong, but he did have a nice. He did win on the FD game. He showed that FD is like more of an advantage for Ken than it is Rob. Now he kind of and he can't be caught on the platforms where he was really getting a lot of damage on him the previous game. And also we got some good music as well. Yeah, he's a lot. He's able to freely move around with the uh, focuses in the air, fall on him, land on him. Not having to worry about dealing with the platforms, he gets tech chased on them. Kevin is like doesn't. Let's go. He finds the up air into down air, getting that early percent kill. The game does such a good job of like boxing his opponent into the corner, just pushing them there by throwing out hitboxes. And he gets hit by a billion gyro hits and some jabs. Lovely. He gets caught by the same thing he did last game. But he does die for it with the laser. Yeah, I am surprised, but like, oh my god. Of course, but Rob doesn't die there, he's a... Uh, he just flies. I am surprised Ghost is leaving FD open. But uh, Rob still does do well on FD. Just... This is the Shoto stage, you know? He's dueling a bit with the Hadouken. And, and he gets the shield break, and Ghost is just dead. Seeing a bit of a sigh of relief there from Peter. Avoiding down for up to up here. Right, 
Fita doing a good job of just kind of trying to hold on to this lead. He's having good DI. He's not like just he's just not becoming this easy. And yeah, he, he did it again. He rolled into Arp Smash. And it's a very it's, it's become a very even game very fast. But it's to be expected by these two players. Kind of explosive. Finding the um, focus one. This Jaro's been messing up bad. About to get my ruler. Uh, he goes for the full focus, but luckily not getting a bad punish off it. It's looking a bit grim for Peter here with the high percent, but he can he can get this. He finds an opening and gets the damage, which he just doesn't re he doesn't hit, hit confirm the nair it happens. He's, he gets fared out of the tattoo. Goes just doing a good job of kind of swinging around him, pulling him out of it. And no down throw, back throw, looking to catch his DI bag. And that's sad, Peter doesn't make it even after that shield break in that nice game, but it is what it is. That was a fun set. I liked watching that. That was good. Good play from both players. Just having kind of got caught on those rolls, his landing options got a bit sloppy, and he wasn't really hit confirming towards the end. Which is fair enough. You're playing against one of the best players in the state. You're getting stressed. Oz PR. Or former Oz PR. I don't know what's happening with the PR at the moment. 